last year. Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins is with us now tracking that storm. The seventh one. Bobby. It's hard to believe this will be the 11th landfalling hurricane in the United States this season alone. Seven of those that have threatened Louisiana. 11 landfalls in one season is a new record. So this season continues to set records. Five p.m. numbers just came in. 110 mile per hour winds. That's one mile per hour away from being a major category three hurricane. So essentially a category three hurricane, it's cat two technically, is making landfall right now. And you can see it's actually shaped up pretty well. Most of the heavy rain has already been on shore for the better part of the afternoon. Heaviest rain coming through New Orleans right now. The highest winds are right there down near the northern eye wall. You can see right here, Galeano area, right there. That is where the highest winds are. New Orleans itself will likely see wind gusts close to 100 miles per hour. Uh, sustained winds in the 70s and 80s easily. So that's going to cause some damage. The highest storm surge over here on the east side because the wind's blowing in off the water. And that could be 6 to 10 feet of storm surge in some of the hardest hit areas. Now, the silver lining, this thing's moving now to the north northeast at 24 miles per hour. That means about a three to five hour period of the heaviest wind and rain, and then it's out of here. Tomorrow morning, it's over Birmingham. The problem with that is, since it's moving so fast, it will be slower to fall apart, and now you've got more of a wind situation for folks in northern Alabama, even north Georgia and parts of the mountains of North Carolina. By tomorrow evening, this thing's over D.C. and moving offshore. So it's a quick mover, but it's going to cause a mess almost all the way through. Now, it will affect our weather, but in a good way, and I'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit.